Hey, what is up, guys? I am Bernicus, and welcome back. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna figure out what this is. We're gonna. Oh, I wish there wasn't a cutscene for like every single thing you did. Okay. Come on. If you're wandering off, then we'll go on ahead. No. We don't have time to mess around. No, 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 no. Okay. I'll meet up. No. Agent, you didn't even give me an option. Please make it inside before then. Damn it! No, don't leave me. Oh dear God. Oh dear God. Just, just stay away from it. And then... Left hand bone. Sweet! That dog better not fucking chase me. God, that was really janky. A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but... Shouldn't I let someone know? Yeah, you should. <laughs> ah! Excuse me. Alright. <laughs> I thought that was the car for a second. The car's like, <laughs> like that is not a good car car noise. You should get that to a mechanic. ASAP, buddy. Alright. Let's get heading towards that hospital. Hospitale. Ping ping. So many points. So many dollars earned. Alrighty then. Let's go this way. I think I'm heading the right way. Oh, I can get eggs here. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I can even go... F can I go fishing? Holy shit snacks. Alright. Can I... Can I drive on grass? I can, eh? Yep. Sweet. Oh, it sort of slowed me down, though. Wasn't expecting that. Pardon me. Is that, like, the second, third... Oh, no, I've only just started this episode. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I'm burping so much. Okay, okay. Easy, easy. Yes! Didn't even crash. That is fucking awesome. Achievement unlocked. Didn't hit a hedge turning a corner. Oh, stop! Stop! Okay, thank god, it's a cutscene. <laughs> Greenvale General Hospital. Wait a second. Oh, no, it's not. Agent Morgan, have you no respect for rules and protocol? We were waiting happened? for you, and now you try to go in by yourself. I, oh, oh, I didn't see you there, I'm sorry. I didn't see you in the parking lot, so I thought I'd wait inside. Just watch oh, it from now on. How dare you? Mm -hmm. I don't like inconsiderate people who think that they're above the rules. Well, then you should That's have given me an option to come talk to you, you stupid game Calm designer. Down, George. I mean, well, I not that you're the game here. designer, Actually, but still. Right, Agent York? Let's go inside then. I wonder what would happen if they came with me. He probably found. He'd probably find another way to just hate me. It's him. He's the murderer. Hello, Sheriff. Nailed it. Frankly, Fiona. <laughs> She's pretty. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Doctor Johnson is in the computer room. I'll give you Doctor Johnson. A computer. Hello. In a hospital. Nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. How did you know I was FBI? My friends call me York, though, Easy. so you can call me Doug. None of the police in this town wear cologne. Haha, <laughs> that was funny. Haha, <laughs> she's telling you you stink! Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they You spread. have tig old in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? Is it a book, perhaps? You haven't heard of this yet? No, it's, it's kind of why I asked. It's a summer mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. 
However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible More really crime, long the murder of a talking. local girl. Oh my and god! The incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town, but everyone feels the seditious, heinous evil still lurking alive. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenvale. Fiona, don't say that. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced but with seriously, is you're a sick minded crime fuck. committed in a real world. It's much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. Uh, Emily, what's up? Why? What's going on? Is that really all you had to say? Gosh, where the fuck am I going? Where, where's the marker? Oh, it's over there. Isn't that where I came in from? Oh no. Let's just uh, open this here door. Oh damn it! I should have fucking sprinted into it. Go 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 go! Ready, ready, ready. We couldn't find him. Night, Paul and Bob. to check her information. Oh, Bob, this is Rob, no, dickhead. So. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer, and a car oh. key already set in place. The king passes the rook. Oh God, the is this a puzzle? The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Oh, exactly. I'm not oh, solving. No. Uh -uh. King passes rook. King passes rook and meets bishop. Knight takes pawn. No. Two. Bishop. Mm. Mm. Oh, dude, put me there. Uh, knight passes rook and meets bishop. Wait, um. Knight uh, takes pawn to queen. Fuck! Oh, I only get one go? Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. How do you know I need more clues? What, I can't just... Try and solve it? Agent Morgan, this doesn't seem all that simple to me. Oh, come on, if you have a little knowledge of chess, this is nothing. I see. Good hint! I know it relates to chess pieces, but I don't remember all the names of the pieces. If you look carefully around the room, you'll say, oh my god. That's not the answer, that's just telling you what the pieces are. Oh, is it literally you just have to click on them in order? I thought it was trying to put them in a space. Okay, so... King passes... Rook is the castle, isn't it? To meet bishop. Then knight takes pawn to queen. Awesome! I thought you were trying to put them in places to take the queen. I didn't know you. it was just n naming the chess pieces in order. That's a piece of piss. The doctor awaits below with the deceased. Another code? I fucking love that. Ugh. But there's nowhere to insert That is not password. how one thinks. More games. I'm going to get Fiona to call Usha up here right now. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Who's joking? This is Dr. a serious Usha thing. Is below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Uh, Simple. My god! Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. This game uh, better start getting exciting uber soon. <laughs> Otherwise we're not gonna finish this. Ha! Uh, this way? Maybe? Yes? Uh, that's the second. <sighs> Alright. 
Do it, do it, do it. Oh, yes! I can push things. Yeah! Huh. Oh, you can't push it sideways. Okay, you need to get out of my way now. Okay. Hey. Fuck you. Alright. Making headway. Wait. Oh, it's downstairs. I thought it was pointing to the floor there. I was like, where did I even get it? Wait a second. Hold the phone! Is it down here? What the f- Oh dear god! Hang on, there was a sign over here. Uh, here we go. Uh, dissecting room left. I think that's where he is. Uh, where does this lead? It is locked! Okay. It's not called a dissecting room, is it? <laughs> um, well... Uh... Um... Oh god. Wait. Wait. Where the... Where the fuck was I going? Where did I come from? Where are the stairs? Are you stairs? You are locked. Oh shit. Uh. Uh. Where was the. Uh. Main room? Oh god. Uh, oh, hello. I apologize. This is not where I meant to be. Uh. That's an exit. Oh, motherfucker. What the shit? Maybe that wasn't an exit back there. I just thought it was because of that green sign. Oh my lord. Where are you taking me? Hey, points. Fuck yeah. <laughs> this way. Oh, I found it! Nice. Nice. Got it. Alright. About time. Jeebus Christ. Sweet! Oh, it's open. I was waiting for a cutscene to happen. <laughs> uh, what is that other blue light? Oh, it's a telephone. Thank you, your points. Excuse me, Doctor! He's like in there slowly, like dissecting someone, and you just barge in. Doctor! I'm looking for. Oh, God! I accidentally cut his head off. Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall <sighs> Asha Johnson, of course he's. I mean, just. This is Agent Morgan. Att from the so attractive. Mm, nice to meet you. I'm Usher Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. <sighs> FBI Special Agent Francis. I was gonna Morgan. say, of course he's black. Not yes, trying to seem racist. Everyone. I'm just saying it just. They're like. <sighs> Very well. I don't Agent know York. how to explain this well. Just in my mind, practitioner? they've called him that because they find that a very black before. name. <laughs> Not me. That them. Of wits, by the way. Did He's you like, yeah. that yourself? Um, I should jump. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. It's them, not me. It's just. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I shouldn't have said it. anything. I couldn't explain that well. <laughs> we don't have much time. We need those. Hopefully, people results. know what I mean. What are you doing? Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. Yeah, dickhead. It's only a murder case. Jesus. And quite a serious one, might I add. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. <sighs> Note that there are two exterior wounds. Mm -hmm. Pressure marks around the neck. 
and a long so she was strangled chest to abdomen and Blood she had an abortion like right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her that's not how an abortion works but whatever why are you all looking at your right hand her skull is also fractured but that is unrelated to the cause of death it probably happened to her after <coughs> she was killed hmm hmm now, I first thought death by suffocation, due to the marks on her neck. But you were wrong! After further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. Alright, what's your new conclusion, Johnson? The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. Right, right. Well, it was a big cut. Which means... Which means she, she died. was cut up yeah. while she was still alive. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum oh. and then quickly sliced downwards. Oh. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. You know, I've her never thought about it that way. That sort of makes sense. No skin cells like. from the attacker. She also does someone appear to have been bound, literally just got their whole body been, sliced open. I'm just I she was I look at that and go, oh, killed, killed, killed immediately. But it would have been death, the most death tragic of thing, blood loss. However, was it she I don't was know. unable just, to speak yeah, never thought of it to anyone who could hear her cries. Right. The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness. Right. And then the killer killed her. That's nice lighthearted music, though. The killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. Well, you don't he probably cannot converse with them normally. Where did you? Where did you get that from? Cutting out the tongue suggests a very that no! How did you get that? Either that from one murder. Hardcore like sadist. if he's a serial killer and he's killed like five women, you start going, oh, he's got something wrong with women. He Literally just killed one person. You're like, clearly he hates women, especially when they can't answer back. Now, he watched as the blood pumped from her body as she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like. Usher, please limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. Yeah, knobhead. I'm the detective here. You're wrong, also. Thank you. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... <laughs> Hold up a second. You do Tell your detective me, work, I'll do my doctor work. The night Anna was killed. Uh, just before I went to bed, right after the movie on TV ended, so... Oh, my back hurts. Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. So the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. <sighs> George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? Um, what more yeah. Do you hope to find? You just told me off for fucking doing detective work, I'm but sure you I stay out of the doctor work. Personal interest in cases like these. <laughs> Whoa, okay. All right. Hello there, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson has quite a large Johnson. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It's time to end that video there. We'll figure out what happened to Anna next episode, maybe. Make sure you like and subscribe and share that video. I talked about that in the previous video. Make sure you share videos. It really helps a lot. If you liked the video, just... Show your friends. Be like, even if even if it's for a bad reason, like if you watch this video and we're like, wow, that guy's an idiot. Show your friend. Be like, look at this dickhead. Ha ha ha. Laugh at me. I don't care. That's what I do this for. Any publicity is good publicity. Anyway, guys, I am gonna end that there. Vonik is out. Bwah.